as you know, like I've just moved home and uh, dealing with a security company to get my subscription for my alarm system. It just brought up a, a bunch of pain points that I've experienced over my life. I mean, growing up in South Africa, it's part of, it's sadly part of our culture that security is just a, a thing that you have to incorporate into your daily life. I mean, we're taught as young kids to always lock the doors to always make sure that your windows are closed at night and always make sure the garage or the gate have been closed. So it's it's something that's just ingrained in us as South Africans. Feeling safe in your own home isn't a privilege. It's actually a basic human right. And crime here, especially in South Africa, is, is unpredictable. And sadly, response times from the security companies and from police, which is even worse, are very slow. I mean, imagine this, it's two o'clock in the morning, you're fast asleep and something wakes you up. You're not sure what it is, but it's a faint noise or knocking outside. Hypothetically, naturally, your adrenaline is going to start pumping. And, you know, you want to check your security camera feed only to find like a, let's say a blurry figure moving in the shadows. You're going to question yourself, like, is it the wind or is it a stray animal or is it something worse? And it, and it generates these, these fears, right? And anxieties. But for many people, uh -huh. this could be a passing fear. But in many places around the world, like where I live, home security is not a luxury. It's an absolute necessity. And these outdated and traditional security systems fail when we need them the most, right? And false alarms will make you hesitate. There are slow response times that will leave people vulnerable. And outdated systems create more stress than security. But specifically, technology nowadays, AI specifically, is finally catching up to these challenges. How do you see AI aiding in this situation? Like, okay, 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, you see a blurry figure. Like, my security system here in California is pretty straightforward. I have a Mossberg shotgun that I take out every night out of the safe, and it's yeah. next to my bed. And when you hear... That's, that's your first warning. I'm not a user of a security system, so I don't really know what problems you encounter with your providers, but tell me what those problems are and how you see AI could, could aid in that. It's a false al alarm that is going to be causing a cascading effect. So let's go back to that same scenario. It's 2 a.m. again, you fast asleep and something wakes you up. But this time, let's say it's the fourth time in the last two weeks that the alarm has gone off, right? Now, it could have been a straight cat the first time. It could have been a falling tree the second time or a glitch in the system. But now, because of your previous experiences with the false alarms, you hesitate. And, you know, you question yourself, is this another false alarm? Or do I get up and go check again? Or do I call security again? Or do you take it the risk of rolling over and assuming it's nothing? Now, that's where the problem lies because 90% of all security alerts are completely false. So uh. the thing that really is highlighted here is that we're all humans, right? And we all make mistakes and we're all prone to error because 80% of those alarms that are false are due to user error. So, you know, you might forget your pin when arriving home, or you might forget to disarm, or you might for forget that you've armed the house, and then you walk outside to have a cup of coffee or something, you know, of that nature. It's just mundane, silly little things. And the thing that I want to highlight today is the ripple effect of that, because over time, all of these false alarms will cause not only you as a resident in your own home trying to secure yourself to become complacent, but... It also causes the security and police companies that help you to have slower response times because they're obviously so tired of reaching out or coming out on call outs to only to determine that it's just a false alarm because you've forgotten your pin. So there's a bit of a ripple effect there and it bleeds out into quite a few facets, right? Look, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't carry firearms per se, but I would certainly feel a lot safer knowing that in the event of my you know, home security system fake, I do have that secondary backup. But for the general public, you're relying on police, you're relying on your security company that you pay a subscription to, yet you've got so many of these things that are not really well oiled and they don't really work as desired. So the AI solution to that is that there are smart detection solutions and systems that have the ability to differentiate between a cat, for instance, or an intruder. I mean, obviously that's a vast difference, but it can also even help you with arming and disarming your system easily. It can be voice controlled. It can be, you know, the touch of a button on your mobile device because you've got a seamless app that's been integrated. Yeah. So it's literally many... like a security assistant of yours, right? That can detect stuff through the, you know, video feed and that can uh, talk to you natural language and can memorize your security pin and all that stuff, obviously. Yeah. 
And then there's what it goes a step further because it can actually learn your routines over a period of time. Like, I mean, if you're doing a school run in the morning, then you've got to go to work or if you work from home, it picks up on your actual daily routines and it can and enhance that kind of efficiency and accessibility for you to, you know, forget about the mundane things like your pin or having to arm in a rush because your kid's got to get to play practice or whatever the case. It's it's just so much better for the customer and their experience knowing that they've got peace of mind and that the fact that their house is completely secure and it's going to work without failing on them, especially when they need it the most. With AI, advanced security systems can detect real threats in real time, right? So they AI can be able to pick up that guy's trying to break into that window. It's three o'clock in the morning. Let me trigger an immediate response to the security company and dispatch private security guards or responders before the intruder even gains access because they can see it's a real threat and it's not a false alarm, you know? Yeah, and so... Yeah, I was just going to say... Final, yeah, it, final it's about that. prevention. It's exactly, it's about prevention and not being reactive. So with the rise, and this is what I was thinking about as well, is with the rise of the smart homes that are, you know, the rise in smart homes all over the world today, I honestly think that that sort of application needs to be integrated for smart homes as a standard, standard practice, because you can't be watching your camera feed 24 hours a day, but AI can. Yeah, it, it's it's about prevention and also talking about the other problem here. I'm I'm pretty sure that if 80% or 90% of the um, the requests are false alarms triggered by people, I think it's a huge overhead on the security company side as well and police. If that's 90% and they are obliged to go, they would be spending 90% of their time responding to false alarms versus well, responding to actual situations. Uh, in this case, if people live in neighborhoods, right, you have main streets running through the neighborhood. I'm not sure how it is in South Africa, but it, it is it is yeah. like that here. If you have cameras, they could all work together, first of all, to kind of give a more holistic view of the street in general and street safety. Mm. We have these signs here in Los Angeles and some neighborhoods about neighborhood watch. But that's mm -hmm. more like people are, you know, watching the streets Falling sometimes. Yeah. That's yeah. that's not reliable. But if you have cameras that are looking outward and that could all be combined and analyzed by one AI that basically, you know, gathers feet from all those cameras, first of all, you know, you would see a threat approaching way before. You could also analyze, okay, let's enter all our cars, models, and plates into the system and if it's a you no know, a car that doesn't belong in this neighborhood well that's already raises the alert to the first level let's watch that car who's in that car if someone gets out of the car then well even face recognition is something that could be implemented here and like you're saying if someone's approaching and we already identify that person as a threat then an automatic response needs to be triggered with all the data that that was gathered beforehand yeah. And probably maybe if people volunteer, maybe neighbor neighbors volunteer to be the first responders in case something happens to the neighbors, you know, they could be triggered as well. As many methods of dealing with this as possible, but the, the, the main concept here is that an AI guardian, both in your phone and on the level of the system in the mm -hmm. street, is something that could dramatically reduce false alarm response because... If it's like, if it lives in your home, the AI system, basically, it will lower the amount of those false alarms for sure. But also on the level of the system, the AI would give the companies providing those services a lot, you know, more peace of mind and yeah. actually use them when, even if you reduce that number from 90% to 50%, it's all, you know, it's already huge. Yeah, huge deal, and a lot of money will be saved. A lot of benefit would be uh, yielded from that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think that's what causes the complacency from the first responders or the, the security responders side, because they're probably inundated. Well, they are inundated with false alarms. And as a result, that cascading effect I was talking about, over time, they don't get motivated to rush out to handle a, an alarm because not nine times out of 10 or 90 times out of 100, it's going to be a false alarm. So that that's what's the cause of the complacency and the operational cost loss must be astronomical. So implementing some sort of, uh, you know, 
AI driven application that can minimize that from a company perspective I think that's what they should be looking into immediately because you're going to improve your customer satisfaction and and confidence in the company but also you're going to be saving a hell of a lot hell of a lot of money and and reducing your operational costs